Right now, I'm going to show you something I bet you don't know about the harmonization neural filter in Photoshop, and I'm going to show you how to take advantage of that to get better color matching between layers. First of all, I'm going to show you this feature, which is almost like a hack, and then I'm going to show you how to use it to your advantage. So let's create a new layer. And then what I'm going to do in this layer is I'm going to make a selection around most of the red. I'm going to fill it with gray. All right, let's apply it. Filter, neural filters. These are using Adobe Sensei, which is AI. Let's turn on harmonization. And then we're going to select a layer. The layer, of course, is the background. Now watch what happens. So this is the color it picks up. I'm going to click OK. And let's hide this for now. And let's move the gray to the other side. I don't know if you get what's happening here. The first one was hiding the red color. Now we're hiding the green color. And let's apply this. Harmonization. Select layer, same layer. And click OK without making any adjustments to those settings. And if we look at them, Look at this. There's a definite difference in the result. And this is because the areas that are hidden are not included in the harmonization AI adjustment. Now, why is this important to you? I'm going to show you on an image right now. OK, to see how this works in practice, let's apply harmonization to the top layer here. We've just got, you know, just a rough cut out just for demonstration purposes, but you can learn something from this. So we're going to choose filter and we're going to apply the neural filter. Now our model's pretty much in position. So this is how most people would work. We turn on harmonization, select the layer, hit the background. And then it applies that setting. Now, a lot of the time I would actually increase that brightness, but just for the sake of this illustration, I'm not going to make any adjustments. We're just going to use the default settings. OK, so click OK. This is a new layer. Let's hide that layer. And now we're going to take our model. And this time we're going to move her off to the side before we apply the filter. Now, something is happening. One, we're starting to hide some of this red in the background. And number two, we're showing more of our environment. So let's choose filter. Neural filters, harmonization, turn it on, select layer. We'll grab that background once again, apply that. Once again, in the real world, I would brighten that up. But let's have a look at the two images. I'm going to move this across and hide that background. So let's have a look at something here. So number one, this is the first one when she was in position. Number two, she was out of position. So you might already be thinking, oh, maybe I like this other one better. But let's have a look at the accuracy. So we're going to open up the info panel. And let's grab the eyedropper. And what we're looking at is let's look at the areas of neutral gray. Why don't we start? Let's hide this. And we're going to start with the first adjustment. And the reason I'm just going to pull her over here, because let's look at some of the gray or some of the areas of white that got adjusted. So if we look at these areas of white on her shirt, if you can see under the RGB, we're about 247, 247, 252. That's the RGB values. Let's have a look over here. 247, 252. Mm -hmm. It's about right. So the white values have been shifted to that. Let's look at a white on the actual image. Look at that. It's 230 exactly. Okay, let's compare the second one. This is after I moved it to the side before I applied the adjustment. Remember, we're looking for more like a 230. The other one was 247. Let's move on to her shirt. Look at that. 234, 231. 234, 231. But the big takeaway from this is position your foreground not for the final positioning, but position it where you're seeing the colors on the background that you want to be taken into consideration 
for your adjustment. For example, we've got a lot of that red building was actually contaminating the values. So by covering some of that, it gave us a truer reading. And then as you saw in the eyedropper, those, those second adjustments were actually much more accurate. So I'm curious um, if you found this little experiment interesting, let me know in the comments and also let me know how you would use this. And if you guys are new, welcome to the cafe, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you won't miss any tutorials from me. Smash that like button into dust helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.